What do you mean you can't have it? It's a revolver. You can't have a revolver in England. It's, it's, yeah, no. It's we went to New York. Everybody said, that's not real America. So, we went to Texas. Our first 24 hours were a lot of fun. And having our first experience of one of the most insane clay events on Earth. But first, we went shopping so that I could blend in. Before heading to the boot barn to fulfill my childhood dreams, I had to figure out how to drive this massive vehicle. Just picked up the car. This is unnecessarily large as vehicles go, but I'm an unnecessarily large guy, so she keeps reminding me. And in terms of beauty, mate. Thank you. So John arrives in two hours. There's a boot barn 22 minutes away. I don't know whether boot barn is like a reputable place, but it is one that came up on Google. And I feel like things were in Texas, the home of the cowboy. I'm sure I'm gonna offend loads of other states here. Sorry, it's just English ignorance. We're gonna go get some cowboy boots. Woohoo! Nap, 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 nap. Boat barn. Roads are significantly smaller than the New York roads. That's all I know. I drove John's F-150 for many, many hours. Don't with... say even the word New York. Oh people. yeah, sorry, New, New York, York is Kansas. I'm Texan now. How do Texan? This car is massive. This is an unacceptable amount of road. Look at this iPhone. There's boot barn right there, mate. Boot barn. I think I just killed a child. In England, men do not wear Western boots at all. So this whole process felt a little bit odd. I don't know. That's normal. That's normal. Yeah, right. that's normal. What's the most boring pair of boots? You know, I mean, buy? if you're gonna wear jeans over like this kind of boot. This is the most complicated buying process. I might as well be buying a dress or a skirt. <laughs> Just foreign language. Look at these boots. I have no idea which ones are cool or which ones are good. I feel like somebody buying their first gun. You see, that is quite cool. That's flashy enough. We're happy with that as an option. And I haven't felt that way in years. With a little bit of help and a whole heap of anxiety, I finally chose a pair and some jeans to match. Look cool though. I mean, they do look um, cool. Right. This saddens me that they get covered. Well, All this beautiful design. That's the whole point, right? Is that you keep them like a bit secret. Little did I know that I was gonna be the only person I saw wearing these damn boots. And now I'm half cowboy. The hat I'm gonna have to work up to, but for now, the boots and the jeans. I mean, I'm now like six foot nine. This is stupid. Just below my family and my guns, my other love, is food. So we dropped into a Wingstop. Turns out Wingstop is amazing. We picked up New York John and headed down to San Antonio for a few beers and a short night's sleep. Good morning. Obviously up before a lot of the world. I'm on my way back from an epically long walk through San Antonio. The interesting thing last night was the drive from Austin to San Antonio. It was 84 miles of car dealerships on the side of the road, petrol stations, gas stations, restaurants, food chains, and uh, oil refineries. Non-stop for 84 miles. So far, I'm loving Texas. It's a bit warm. My shotgun was over at the National Shooting Center. So before any more fun was had, I wanted to make sure that the John Thorn was okay. So first things first today, before we go and check out the delights of San Antonio, we are here at the National Shooting Complex. We're here for the US National Sporting Play event, and I've got my gun here. I just need to go and double check it, get it together, go and shoot some practice, and then we'll be out having fun. Let's go. This is Jim from Longthorn Guns. This is Johnny Carter from TGS. We have half my gun. I brought you the other half. Can we glue them together? We can glue them together. Very kind man next door. He's gonna let us in there, use his bench, some tools, Let's try not to make a mess of it. The beauty of a gun built with this precision is that you can swap and change stocks, actions, and barrels very quickly. So get to bits. I mean, do you want me to do it? I'm I don't think I trust you. Fine. <laughs> to be fair, I'm out of practice. Carry on. I 
practice done, she works. And when I say she works, we're not talking mechanically, we're talking me being able to hit those little targets with this gun. But enough practice, we're gonna come and do a bit more tomorrow. But now let's head it to San Antonio and see if we can find some pistols. If you go to Google and put in San Antonio shooting range, this place comes up at the top. Luckily, it was awesome. So welcome to Lone Star Handgun Thanks. Shooting Range. Probably the most famous shooting range in Texas, certainly the easiest to find on Google. We just walked in, we gave the man some dollars, and we then walked out with a gun and some ammunition. Let's go hit the range. We're gonna start with the MMP9 shield. It's very small. It's American. America. And uh, then we're gonna go and shoot the AK and the AR because America. We can. Yeah. Welcome to Texas. Let's go have fun. Guys, so hey, welcome out to Lone Star. So I'll give you guys the quick briefing. So here's how the shindig rolls, all right? All the way down there at bay one, okay. all the way right here at bay 46, that's gonna be our pistol base. So any pistol caliber cartridge, which you're good to go, you can shoot on those bays. If you guys do uh, rent a rifle or anything, you guys will be on base 50 through 66 down there. If you guys need any help or need me to walk you through anything, that's what we're here for. Just turn around, wave me down, I'll come right up to you. I wanna go. What I know about pistol, you can write on the back of a fag packet. Sorry, I just got told off by John, that's not what. A cigarette box. Really small. It's very small. It's very it's... hard to hold on to. I imagine this is how Sasha's missus feels. This is a Britta 92X. We were speaking about Britta. We wanted a bigger gun. This is the bigger gun. Feels better, right? Operates oh. better. That is a nice pistol. It looks good, good too. Oh, it is a very attractive pistol. Just loading my magazine one freedom at a time. All right, let's load up. I can't do the same as John because I can't see the back targets. <laughs> like everywhere, they don't really take tall people into account, so I can just about see the close ones. All right, let's rock and roll. Oh, I love this gun already. The other one clearly is like... It's a carry gun, this is a... Yeah. This means business. I got straight in, big target hit, little target hit, two circles hit, back target, target hit, hit, bang, straight off the bat. It's so easy to shoot, so forgiving. If I had to carry one all day, it would be the other one. But if I had to shoot all day, yeah. Oh, yeah, that is epic. Easy, that's easy, that's easy. Fun. After a few boxes of nine millimeter, one of the staff, Mr. Frank, introduced himself, gave us a proper education, and let us play with his AR. That's uh, my version of their CDR. What is it? It's an AR-15. What's a CDR? Civilian defense rifle, as per each column. What do you use it for? Oh, coyotes, pigs. That's pretty epic. People that come into my house that shouldn't be there. How often does that happen on a daily basis? Not often. So I'm presuming parts for these are quite cheap and available in my head. Used to be. Used to be. I used to be able to like build something like this for like mm, 700 bucks. And now? Without the optic and without the suppressor and without the sling. About 9.30. How much is that? That can was, I got it on sale for 6.60. Oh my about God. Plus a $200 tax stamp. I mean, we could buy a decent suppressor for 250. It's huh? probably one of the best. There you go. There's one little thing that we have. But, um, <laughs> and unfortunately, you can't have it in England or Europe because of ITAR. I'm sure if they're like, it was a NATO shipment to a military, it would be fine. But other than that. Yeah, we're blessed, man. We have plenty of decent European manufacturers. So this is still single side latch. I didn't go full ambi, but you just pull back. Drop just forward, go, boom, boom, boom. Slide. To lock the slide back manually, push down on the ping pong paddle. Yeah. Push up to release. All right, let's give it a go. That is obnoxious. <laughs> All right, here you go, they are 15, America. is a fine thing, a suppressed AR in 223. Next up was a full auto AK. 
a bucket list thing for any shooter or gamer. Unlike the American and British firearms, the Russians got one thing right besides it being an AK. First click down is gonna be full auto, all right? Second click is semi-auto. If you're not overly familiar with the AK, even in the machine gun tunnel, I'm gonna highly recommend you guys go into the semi-automatic mode first. Rip off a few rounds, four or five rounds real fast so you understand the cyclic recoil yeah. that you're going to feel. Once you're comfortable with it, click up one. How we shoot a full auto gun is you're going to turn like 45 in the stall. Lead leg forward, break over your knee, break your hips to your knee. This is your control hand on full auto. This is just for shooting. Pull back in, pick up your sights, aim into the dirt, you're going to shoot. The gun's going to want to come up into the road. Okay? Simply with your control hand, just pull back down. We were told, whatever you do, Shoot a couple on semi-auto first, so let's do that, two shots. And then, uh, rock and roll. Rock and roll, baby. All right, here goes. As told, mag in. Oh, this feels good, doesn't it? God bless. I mean, I've shot a 12 ball version of this, and I've shot a single shot version of this. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, are you ready for the shit year? And that was a whole pile of amazing freedom. God bless America. Just as we were leaving, I mentioned my love for sporting clays. It turns out they have a full course here too. What? You have a sporting clays course? Well, right, this place is sick. They have machine guns, pistols, rattlesnakes. That is no joke, gentlemen. You see a snake? Just kindly identify I'll, the direction of the noise and, and walk, walk the opposite. <laughs> and then I'll see you boys in a bit. <laughs> feed it to her. So we had to have a go. Well, let's go get A then B. Why not? This over and under shotgun was a little less nice than mine, and it still got the job done, but not without constant complaint. So out of all the guns in their clubhouse, which are rentals, which are really nice, I decided to go for this. This is a Maverick by Khan Arms. It's uh, not the nicest gun I have ever held, but we don't get guns like this in the UK because firstly, the market doesn't want it. And secondly, probably, it might not pass proof. Who knows? Oh, it looks all right, it might do, who knows? It doesn't matter. But what we are gonna do is uh, shoot some more targets. <laughs> It's not complete crap. Shotguns are pretty crude tools, right? It's two pipes that need to be relatively concentric that point in relatively the same direction. The quality of the cartridge matters quite a lot. Is that a, a high seat for shooting deer out of? Yeah. So okay. you can do yotes, pigs, or deer out of it. Coyotes is the yotes. Yotes. And then the black one I thought you were referencing before, that's the corn feeder. So we feed the deer. That's legal in this part of the world. You, you can't directly shoot over bait, okay? But walking into bait, it's a gray area. It's not illegal. Now, so I'm a very traditional hunter. I'm from New York, he knows that. So we have actual woods in New York, like thick woods. Like so These I, are quite thick woods. This is mesquite, that's a whole different type of thick. Okay. So when I say a 40 yard shot back home is a far shot yeah. for, he understands there's yeah, a lot. Very similar back home for me Yeah, too. there's a lot in between you and the animal at 40 yards. Whereas here you can get very much so open shots. So if you have a deer walking out to a feeder and it's not at the feeder, you can absolutely shoot it. What if is that the animal accepted is... radius around the feeder? 50 yards, 10 yards, half a foot, a tongue. No. So it's definitely legal if they're absolutely 100% at the feeder eating. As far as I know the law states, as long as they're not actually engaging food, I don't know if that's the correct verbiage, but as long as they're not actively eating the food. But it's down to a hunter's morality, whether he wants that or whether he wants something a little bit more And that's sporting. where human error comes in, yeah. Morality is the driving factor. Now, pigs, because they're a nuisance animal, you could bait the hell out of some pigs. <laughs> you could just wait lace to them. So I have you a- You can shoot uh, them with Tannerite. I've seen those films, that's insane. You can as much pigs. as I dislike pigs, I would not tannerite pigs. However, you can a claymore, legally do a it. claymore pig. <laughs> I have stories about claymores, but we won't get into them for your YouTube channel. <laughs> but uh, you could absolutely, if you can legally produce a claymore, if, well, you can as long the as you follow them. Oh my God, we've just going to make a million dollar business idea. The hogmore. It would sell all over Texas. I, I'm not saying 
that it doesn't exist. It probably it does fail. exist. Okay. It does exist. You but picked them up in Walmart. They no, they they do it with tannerite. They'll so what they do is they'll they'll bait like a, a whole pile of corn, and what you do to keep the deer from eating the corn because you don't want to injure the game animals is you mix Kool Aid with diesel, and you pour the diesel mix over the corn. The deer will not eat it. The pig will lap it up. I, I've, I've seen this work. Like I thought it was insane the first time I've heard it. Some guy from Oklahoma told the me about it. Stay away from the Kool Aid. They will, they'll smell it and they'll, they'll go away because no, it's the diesel. Yeah, okay. The pigs will eat it. They don't care. So the guy was telling me he was from Oklahoma. They had put five pounds of tannerite in this pile of treated corn, and they waited for a whole bunch. A whole bunch of pigs come in. And he said he got two sows and probably twenty piglets. Sent a 308 round into that friggin' pile of tannery, and he reduced this pig population probably by about 22 pigs on his property. He is a farmer, and they are so. It's cheaper than a helicopter. True, but the, the big thing with the getting rid of en masse pigs like that is um, nationally, we're, we have feral hog problems, the states. In Texas alone, in 2020, they did almost $2 billion worth of crop damage. Wow. That's with a B, $2 billion in crop damage. So they are an actual pest. If they're threat. beyond that, they're an actual threat to like, Hulk fruit terrorism. Kind of. Mm. Uh, uh, fortunately, we don't have wolves here. Wolves would absolutely eat them. All we have, the best we got is coyotes. We got some big coyotes on this property. Um, our coyotes here, I, my, my nephew shot one with a seven millimeter mag rifle and it shrugged it off and ran away. It did die, but it ran away. Uh, that That's a testament to toughness there. Um, and it was like 70 yards too. It wasn't like a, distant shot or anything like it was close um but they don't naturally prey on pigs if and when they do the problem with it is the male pigs they're tough as nails man they will they'll jack up like one male pig one boar will absolutely devastate a small pack of coyotes so if you got like five or six coyotes and that boar is not having it and it i don't mean like chance, yeah. I, we're talking like gouges We can't have pistols back home, so it's something I know very little about. However, I know a good amount about fine guns and gun making, and so I fell instantly in love with this Korth pistol. It's a little, little more modern. It's kind of cyberpunk cowboy. This is a cyberpunk cowboy from Nighthawk Costume. Korth. They revived the Korth name, so I believe it's old German. Okay. Yes. Cylinder. So this is the modern cowboy. Mm, it's like cyberpunk cowboy. Oh my, uh, that is sick. I told you, it's like cyberpunk cowboy. And this is six thousand bucks. Easily. Easily. Also. Look how beautifully that's machined. This is lovely. See now this, I get. Like, this is this is why I love guns. Yeah. This is just a lovely yeah. made thing. Yeah, with some quality. Hard. You just. Yeah, I didn't oh, even pull the trigger. You could just. Oh, you just hear it. Yeah. Cash credit or oh. I want some of that action. I mean, yeah. we can yeah. international ship it to England. But we can't have it in England. So. What do you mean you can't have it in England? It's a revolver. You can't have a revolver in England. It's, it's, yeah, no, it's, yeah. you can't have any handguns in England with unless you fall within a very small category. So I'm a Section Five. I could have it, but I can't do anything with it. I have to just lock it away 365 days a year. Occasionally go to the range to test that it works. As you saw, my first day in Texas was awesome. The next three days in Texas were just as awesome. And you can check that video out in the link in the description. Guys, thanks for watching. Take care. And of course, we'll be back.